miles down the road from where I started to go up uh, that peak, um, Richelle Peak. But now, going to the next mountain in the range, uh, Tetzlaff Peak. And uh, should be a good hike. It's been a couple days since I went up Richelle, so I think a bunch of the snow is probably melted, so it might be a little easier in that regard. But we shall see. Tetzlaff Peak. Not too far from Rochelle. Feels like a very long approach. I wonder what sort of science experiment these poles are for. I think that peak with the cliff face on this side is the summit. I'm gonna go around and approach it from the other side so I don't have to do any climbing. I think one of the right, decent route, I think a decent route will be to go up one of those uh, spurs the side of the summit. They don't look too bad from down here. Seems like a good spot to step off the road. Uh, this ridge here is what I drew on my map. That looked like the best route from satellite and uh, contour, steepness, and uh, looks like I did a pretty good job guessing, at least from this point of view. We'll see how it is when I get up a little higher. Well, so far it's been a decent ridge walk. Some nice views. That one's Richelle Peak, and this other one is Volcano Peak. Volcano looks a little spicy to do in the winter. Slightly steep. And this is the edge of the salt flats with I-80 there. When I get up over here is where the uh, Bonneville racetrack is. You can just about see the car down there. Just came up over that little bump. Now, I think if I stay on this side of that, outcropping there. It should be okay. Doesn't look too bad. Summit is that one. That looks like steep scree. Wish I had poles. Oh well. Gain the ridge. It was very, very steep scree. On the ridge. So we'll, the carrot on the side. well, I'm definitely in the activation zone, but this little knife edge seems a little sketchy in the snow and wind and cold. So I'm gonna sit behind this rock here and uh, activate here.
salt flats look like a salt lake right now.
my uh, side of the cliff set up. It's a couple hundred feet down if you take too many steps that way. But KX3 going to the MFJ uh, whip. I just tossed the counterpoise down there. I'm not sure if you can see the yellow wire. And uh, I did have a tripod there, but it blew over, so uh, not a whole lot of video of this activation. make it to the highest point. It's a bit of a knife edge at the very top, which I just didn't feel comfortable traversing. So, you know, uh, now I down this ridge, down that loose screen that was so unpleasant, and, uh, back to the road in the car. Shell Peak where I went a couple days ago, and that one is Volcano Peak. You can see the big cairn on the summit, and that little pointy rock there is what I sat behind to get out of the wind. Wasn't a bad spot, as long as you don't need to string out a wire. Decided to follow this little Erosion gully out. Pretty sure this will intersect with the road somewhere. A lot easier going downhill on this road. The car is just around that uh, hill on the right there at the main road. It is significantly warmer down here where there's no breeze. Like, might need to take my fleece off sort of warm. I'm just about back at the car. It was a good hike. Um, going up this canyon along the road, no problem. And then it was some easy cross country, slowly getting steeper until just below the ridge. It was very steep scree. Um, so that was a little unpleasant, but on the ridge, it was fine. A little bit of a knife edge right before the summit, so I didn't feel like comfortable going over that to tag the summit, but definitely was well within the activation zone. So um, overall, great hike. Definitely a peak that's worth doing.